Hey, how's it going? My name is Bernie Gonzalez. I'm a comic book creator. I write and draw a supernatural horror series titled Midnight Mystery that follows the strange adventures of Detective Ezekiel King. So imagine a mix of supernatural X-Files, film noir movies told in the style of Batman the Animated Series, and you'll be on the right track. In this video, I'm going to ink a pencil sketch I did of Ezekiel King using a brush pen, one of my favorite tools. Probably tell that I use this pad a lot to brush off some of the excess ink and if you see me doing that <laughs> that's why I'm doing it so inking for me is a bit of a Zen thing just kind of relaxes me while I'm working on a page or a pinup or a commission it's just kind of fun for me because then I can relax a little bit uh, because most of the work is is kind of done the composition are already there if I've taken the time to get really detailed uh, on the pencil sketch then, um, not to say that I'm just tracing, but I, I, I know what's supposed to go there. The, the hard work of framing a character or figuring out if there's a building, that's already done on the page. I just have to draw in the bricks or fill in their hairstyle and make sure that, uh, that you know, it kind of comes to life. Because honestly, that's what inking does. It brings the drawing to life, gives it a lot of depth, gives it some really good life uh, that really just makes the pencil work pop and I definitely do not have the type of pencil work that is great on its own some artists out there are so amazing what they're able to do just with their pencil lines alone but uh, for me at least it helps to ink the drawing and uh, yeah just add those things that I cannot do with pencils alone so either you see what I'm doing here or you're completely annoyed that I'm moving the paper but that uh, actually helps me just kind of figuring out the line weights and move the paper around lets me see where things should go now the great thing about this pen is that I can do simple hairlines here like this that are really thin but if I want to add a little bit of thickness here to show that maybe this part of his hair is a little denser, he hasn't lost the hair up there just yet, then I can do that. But then I can also go thin. It's a great thing about this pen. Very, very flexible, very agile to different inking styles. Um, and at least for me, and I've tried quite a number of different inking brush pens, uh, I have a very heavy hand. So it's nice to be able to know that this pen, for the most part, is pretty resilient. Uh, you know, if I press down too hard, then I just know that I'm going to get a lot of ink. But if I have a little bit of, I don't know, just a little bit more tender in the way that I move my wrist and squeeze to get the ink out, that I'll have just enough ink to accomplish what I need to do. So this right here gets a little bit more thin because I'm working on the ear so I don't want to make blocky ears but again this pen allows me to do all of that start with the chin here fun thing about inking too at least for me I know a lot of artists will go ahead and kind of uh, you'll see an example here I want to be able to show you what I'm talking about instead of just well talking about it so here as I finish up his chin I know that for his neck, I want to hide a lot of this in shadow. So just kind of do this here. And some artists may just go ahead and scan this and just kind of say, all right, well, I'm just going to go ahead and do that in Photoshop. Saves you on ink, saves you time. Well, for me, I don't know, there's just something, again, very uh very relaxing like, like i guess like i said some people have yoga some people have meditation for me i can ink close that close this up and just makes me feel like the drawing is a bit more complete it lets me know that the shadows are working here and it's actually doing what i would like it to do um especially if i am working on an original piece of artwork that I'm going to give to someone, like I said, a commission rather than an original page that, you know, well, I'm happy to sell, um, but 
that one is more of a piece of production art I'm going to maybe make some adjustments in Photoshop to uh, parts of the face where I you know I'm changing an expression because it doesn't work anymore at least the way that I do it the first time or uh, you know just adding a few extra little elements uh, you know like maybe a scar over his eye or something like that that I'd like to do digitally because uh, you know something changed in the story and I didn't do that on the original sheet but I have the luxury to do that in Photoshop but if I'm doing artwork that I'm going to give to someone I'd like to get as much as possible on the page as I can because more than likely they're going to put that picture somewhere in a portfolio in a frame uh, they're gonna have it somewhere and you know I'd like to give them as nice of a piece as possible for them to display um, so you know they get the most bang for their buck so in this case I'm gonna fill this out here so that way it's a little bit more complete but again some folks fill it up in Photoshop it makes sense I can see why you're saving time you're saving ink you're saving energy but in this case that kind of works for me so hopefully like I said pretty quick example of what you can do with one of these brush pens when you get them they come in this package you get them on Amazon jet pens pretty much anywhere they range from like five to ten dollars good thing with these I like said they're pretty resilient so if you're working on drawing in you need to get something really sharp that's why I use this you can really get a nice fine chiseled edge but at the same time you can get a really thick line if you need it so that's that for this little video you can find me online at iwantmystery.com that's my website and you can find me on social media at iwantmystery on facebook twitter and instagram talk to you guys soon